Hello everybody, Princess Nevera here, and we just got back from the Dark Phoenix. The Dark Phoenix. So it was meh. Thoughts. It was meh. This particular instance, I have to agree with the princess. I did not like it. I was bored. One hour into it, I was already checking my watch. Like, okay, it's time to go. I'm sick of this already. Like. I love Sophie Turner. She is so cool. She's a great actress. She's so beautiful. She did an okay Jean, but I just feel like the script was a little lacking. The, the direction was a little weird. Like, I, I just, bad taste in my mouth. I thought the writing was weak. I, I feel bad for this movie because it exists. It, it, it's sort of not fair because it exists in a world where we have movies in the, in the MCU and even movies like like Wonder Woman it just it feels like the dialogue is just heavy handedly lazy and you have this rich universe these characters come from but you don't do anything in the movie even looking at the past movies to make me care about what happens to most of them at all that's true you have major characters like Storm and Nightcrawler I'm just kind of like why are you here? <laughs> See, and Storm is Storm has always been my favorite X Men. So anything that got her in it, I'm usually like, yeah, I get to see my girl. But this time, I was like, all right, she's got some Force Lightning, and, whatever. And I get that this is more of a, like a a Jean Grey story, so I expect the movie to be focused on her. But even with that, like, what makes the X Men? As a, as a comic book movie or movie period that makes the X-Men so good is that each of these characters has like powers but some like critical piece of their personality that makes them seem more human but in this movie it's just kind of like comic book powers kinda, they're like caricatures of themselves it's just they don't nothing feels really earned in the story so it's just kind of like yeah this stuff is happening there's some action sequences the CG isn't even really the best that I've seen. It's not. We didn't see it in 3D, but it's just, you don't really need to. It's a whole lot of man. And like the villains, I don't know if anybody out there watches Doctor Who, but when you watch Doctor Who, you have villains in pretty much every episode, like some bad alien or whatever, and it's super cheesy, and of course they lose at the end of the day or whatever, and that, this movie felt like a glorified Doctor Who episode. Doctor Who hater. I love Doctor Who, but I mean, come on, it's super the, cheesy. The, the villain was weak. Super it weak. was cheesy. Completely a throwaway villain. Yeah, like you don't care. I mean, it hasn't even really been that long since we've seen it, and I honestly couldn't tell your name. <laughs> so, I feel like this movie just is it's a bookend to these Marvel movies that existed outside, not just the MCU, but just outside of Marvel's complete control. They need to hand these IPs to a nerd. Really? Well, I mean, Disney ate them up now. It's considered a Disney movie now. So. It is, but this is like one of the last two movies from Marvel under the House of Fox. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just saying that because Disney is, is gobbled up the X-Men now, I feel like any movie moving forward is gonna deliver a little bit better just because they're back home where they're supposed to be. Maybe, maybe not. Disney but, but, gets some good nerd directors. I just feel like they need to hand this movie to a nerd. Like, here, go, have fun. Yeah. But this was just... It's not hard to find an X-Men super fan. If this movie had existed in, like, maybe, like, the first phase of the MCU, like, you could have gotten away with it. Yeah, it's I would like, agree with that. Okay, we get it, but... Coming where we are now in the last 10 years of yeah. comic movies, no. this movie just, it's just lazy. It's just, I, I want to like it because it's such an iconic story within yeah, comic books, but it's too. just, it's just not there. I really wanted to like it a lot and I was bored. I mean, the actors look bored. <laughs> like, they did. You, you, have, you have a very good cast Nobody and they're cared. just kind of like... Yeah, I'm a it. I mean, they did. They did their job very well. They did well, their jobs, but, but just, with the writing that they were given, it was just yeah, it wasn't. It it's was a whole lot of meh. Yeah. So big fat meh. 
wait for it to come out on video, watch it at home. One of those premium channels will play it, I'm sure, in a few months anyway. It, it, it was nice to see it in Dolby and you know, all the rumblings and the sounds, but yeah. I could have gone to go watch Rocket Man. I would have rather seen Rocket Man, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's just mad. Did this feeling on my face? This was like the whole movie, just kind of like. Yeah. I think somebody clapped. And I was like, but why though? <laughs> <laughs> well, usually if I'm bored, I'll fall asleep in a movie, and I actually tried to just be like, let me just sleep through this a little bit. Couldn't. If you're a fan, of course you shouldn't go see it, but uh, yeah, just just temper your expectations. Yeah, lower your expectations down to like the original X-Men movies, like from 2000, and then you'll be excited because it's equal to those, I think. It, 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 it's a nice end, hopefully. Everything goes in a better direction now. We'll but see. We shall see. So, uh, let us know what you thought about Dark Enix. We'd like to see um, what you guys think. Leave something in the comments. We'll pick one at random and uh, maybe we'll reach out to you for a poster. Yeah, we have a few posters we want to give away. So, if you have some commentary about the movie you want to share, definitely let us know and we'll pick the best one. Alright, so until next time, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon.